Hey, welcome to my screencast on Greek democracy. This is actually part two, oligarchy. A few people share power. By 800 BC, most Greek city-states were ruled by a small group of wealthy men. These men were called oligarchs, from a word, a Greek word, that means few. In an oligarchy, the ruling power is in the hands of a few people. Most Greek oligarchs were aristocrats, men who had inherited land from their families. A few were wealthy merchants. Compared to the poor, oligarchs had a very comfortable life. They spent their days hunting and taking part in chariot races. In the evening, they lay on couches and drank wine. They had parties where slaves and hired professionals entertained guests with music, dance, and acrobatics. Meanwhile, the poor had to work all day in the fields. The hardworking poor saw the difference between their lives and the easy lives of the wealthy, and they thought it was very unfair. To make matters worth, worse, the oligarchs ignored the needs of most of the people. They passed laws that the poor did not like, and they used the army to force people to obey them. Many of their laws protected and increased their own wealth. In some city-states, oligarchs passed laws forcing farmers to sell themselves into slavery if they could not pay their debts. Under the oligarchs, the rich became richer and the poor became poorer. Many people who weren't wealthy came to help the oligarchs hate the oligarchs. Eventually, the poor turned to the leaders who promised to improve their lives. These leaders were usually in the army. Backed by the people, they used their soldiers to throw the oligarchs out of power.